In this video, we are going to see about the determination of closed loop responses from open loop response. So in this video, specifically we are going to discuss about M and N circle. The closed loop transfer function of a system is given by C of s equal to R, C of s divided by R of s equal to G of s divided by 1 plus G of s into H of s. So we can say it is a transfer function. So transfer function equal to M of s. Then sinusoidal transfer function is obtained by s by j omega instead of s we have to substitute j omega it will become sinusoidal transfer function therefore for s j omega m of j omega equal to g of j omega divided by 1 plus g of j omega plus sorry 1 plus g of j omega into h of j omega so now from this we can say suppose if m of j omega is transfer function m is the magnitude alpha is the phase angle so m is the magnitude of closed loop transfer function alpha is the phase of closed loop transfer function from this the magnitude and phase of a closed loop system are function of frequency omega we see so from this equation the magnitude and the phase angle both are depends upon the frequency omega the sketch of magnitude and phase of a closed loop system with respect to omega is closed loop frequency response plot so now for various value of omega we will find the magnitude and alpha we will plot the magnitude and phase in the simulog sheet to determine the closed loop frequency response from the open loop frequency response so actually there are two charts one is m and n circle another one is nicolas chart actually from the given problem so for various value of omega we have to find the magnitude and phase angle for the open loop transfer function so for various value of omega so we have to plot magnitude and the phase curve in the semilog sheet so from from that we have we can find the closed loop system gain we can say phase margin and gain margin so by using m and n circle and nicolas chart so we can find the phase margin and gain margin of closed loop system from the open loop system so now we are going to see about the m and n circle specifically so actually the definition of m, m circle is the magnitude of closed loop transfer function with unit feedback can be shown to be in form of circle for every value of magnitude that is called m circle so definition of n circle is if the phase of closed loop transfer function with unity feedback alpha then it can be shown that tan alpha can be in the form of circle for every value of alpha actually from these two definition we can say for a close the magnitude from the closed loop transfer function so we can get the magnitude so from the magnitude for every magnitude value we can draw a circle that is depends upon the value of omega so that is called the m circle so n circle means the corresponding angle will be their phase angle so for that phase angle for various value of omega if we find the corresponding alpha the tan alpha will represents a circle that circle is called the n circle so now we will see about the m circle actually so to discuss about the m circle so we have to consider the closed loop transfer function of unity feedback system m of s equal to g of s divided by 1 plus g of s so for unity feedback here h of s equal to 1 so now so in order to convert this into sinusoidal transfer function we have to substitute s equal to j omega therefore m of j omega equal to g of j omega divided by 1 plus g of j omega so now suppose g of j omega it definitely it will be in complex form so we can consider the, its form is x plus j y so x is real part j is imaginary part m of j omega equal to this is g of s divided by 1 plus g of s so now we are going to find the magnitude and phase angle so for this we know magnitude is square root of real part square plus imaginary part square angle equal to tan inverse of imaginary divided by real part so for this also these two are real this is imaginary therefore this is the magnitude this is phase angle so now from this we can separate the magnitude and phase angle we see these two are magnitude phase angle are tan inverse of y by x 
if we take this into numerator it will become minus so minus tan inverse of y divided by 1 plus x so now suppose m equal to magnitude of m of j omega so we can say this is the magnitude m equal to square root of x square plus y square divided by square root of 1 plus x square 1 plus x the whole square plus y square so actually from this equation so what we can do so we can square on both the side so it will become m square so this will become x square plus y square divided by 1 plus x the whole square plus y square so now we have to take this into left hand side so now m square into 1 plus x the whole square plus y square equal to x square plus y square so now we can we can expand this like a plus b the whole square so we know a plus b the whole square equal to a square plus b square plus 2ab according to this formula we can expand this so therefore 1 square plus x square plus 2 into 1 into x 2x plus y square equal to x square plus y square so now we can multiply this m square into inside so it will become m square into 1 m square plus m square into x square m square x square then m square into 2x m square 2x plus m square into y square m square y square so if we bring this into left hand side it will become minus x square minus y square equal to 0 so now from this what we can do so we can separate square term alone we see here x square here x square if we take outside inside will be m square minus 1 then it is x square term then next x term so it it is having x only one x term therefore it is m square into 2x therefore this is x square term this, a, this is x term then remaining terms are we see this is y square this is y square so we from these two terms we can take y square outside inside will be m square minus 1 equal to 0 so this we can consider equation number 1 actually from this equation m square will be there after this plus m square therefore if we substitute m equal to 1 this will become 0 this will become 2x this will become 0 2x plus 1 equal to 0 therefore x equal to minus 1 by 2 so here hence where if m equal to 1 equation 1 represents a straight line that is passing through x equal to minus 1 by 2 and y equal to 0 so now when m equal to not 1 the same equation represents a family of circle so because we can say we see this is x square term we see so it is like x square term then y square term so th this is a if we take this in these two into right hand side it will become it will represent a circle if m equal to not 1 the equation 1 represents a family of circles we see suppose m equal to not 1 from the equation number 1 x square into m square minus 1 plus m square into 2x plus m square plus y square into m square minus 1 equal to 0 so now so what we have to do when m equal to not 1 m square will be some value therefore if we divide the same equation by m square by 1 it will become x square plus m square divided by m square minus 1 divided into 2x plus this will become m square divided by m square minus 1 plus y is m square minus 1 and this m square minus 1 will cancel so therefore y square only will come therefore x square plus y square plus m square minus 1 into 2x plus m square divided by m square minus 1 equal to 0 so from the above equation what we are going to do so we are going to add m by m square minus 1 the whole square on both the sides of the equation so now in this equation we are going to add this m square divided by m square minus 1 the whole square in the right, left hand side and right hand side also the equation will not change therefore so x square plus m square divided by m square minus 1 into 2x plus m square into so we see so now we are going to take lcm for these two equation so so we, if we take this as common so here so we have to multiply one more m square minus 1 in the numerator so to take lcm therefore m square into m square minus 1 plus m square so this is common plus y square equal to m square divided by m square minus 1 the whole square so now from this x square plus m square divided by m square minus 1 into 2x plus so now 
if you multiply this inside this will become m power 4 minus m square so here plus m square we can cancel plus m square minus m square so this will become 0 plus y square in the next term so we can write the same thing this also we can write so after cancelling these two it will become m power 4 divided by m, m square minus 1 the whole square plus y square equal to m square divided by m square minus 1 the whole square so now so from this we see so we this we can write like this is we see this is a square plus 2ab so this is b square so now we can write it is like a a plus b the whole square therefore a equal to x b equal to this is b square b equal to m square divided by m square minus 1 so a plus b the whole square plus y square equal to the sum we have to write so we can consider this is a equation number 2 so from the equation actually we see it is a this is x square term this is y square term some term, constant term so this we can say x square plus y square equal to r square so we see the this equation is the circle equation if we consider x1 y1 is at center so we see x, x minus x1 the whole square plus y minus y1 the whole square equal to r, r square this equation is like this equation suppose m equal to 0 so from this equation m equal to 0 means it will be x square plus y square equal to 0 0 therefore it will be x square plus y square equal to 0 so we know already x minus x1 the whole square plus y minus y1 the whole square equal to r square so now radius equal to 0 x1 equal to 0 y1 equal to 0 from this equation so therefore we can say when m equal to 0 the magnitude circle becomes a point at 0 cross 0 so we can say radius is 0 x1 y1 also 0 suppose m equal to infinity means so from the equation suppose infinity means x plus infinity the square plus y square equal to infinity so we can say so if you see this is x1 so from this equation x1 equal to minus we see if we compare these two equation x1 equal to minus m square divided by m square minus 1 so from this m is infinity means we can say it is a high value when compared to 1 therefore when compared to m square we can neglect 1 so it will become minus m square divided by m square so we can say it is almost equal to minus 1 so x1 equal to 1 but if we compare these two equation y1 equal to here 0 now radius so this is r r square equal to this term r equal to m divided by m square minus 1 m divided by m square minus 1 so now m equal to infinity means so when compared to this one this m square is very very high therefore m divided by m square therefore m divided by m square equal to 1 by m so 1 by infinity equal to 0 so radius so when m equal to infinity the radius equal to 0 but x1 equal to minus 1 y1 equal to 0 therefore hence m equal to infinity the magnitude circle becomes a point at minus 1 equal to 0 so from this we can easily conclude when m equal to 0 the circle should be 0 comma 0 the circle becomes 0 0 radius equal to 0 when m equal to infinity the circle becomes minus 1 comma 0 but radius equal to 0 therefore for various value of m so at this point we can say when m equal to 0 when magnitude equal to 0 the, the circle is becomes 0 comma 0 but radius also 0 when m value is increasing suppose m value equal to 0 0.2 means that will represent this circle 0 0.3 means next circle 0 0.4 0 0.5 0 0.6 0 0.7 but up to m equal to 1 the circle should should be within this value within this value it will not cross this cross this point when the m value become more than 1 so we see when m equal to 1.2 we see the circle should be like this when m keep on increasing so we know when m equal to infinity its radius equal to 0 but 
it becomes minus 1 comma 0 it means x axis minus 1 y axis equal to 0 so that will represent this point so therefore we can say when m equal to 0 this is the circle at 0 comma 0 radius also 0 when m equal to infinity the circle represents at this point radius equal to 0 but point, this point is minus 1 comma 0 x axis is minus 1 y axis is 0 therefore when when m equal to 0 to infinity it will it will represents various circle so if we take m less than 1 these are the circle corresponding value of m with its circle so when m become greater than 1 but less than infinity the circle will represents negative real axis alone so this is the family of constant m circle